Um, what are we going to get upstairs? So we're we going to get the lighter. We're going to get some shotgun shells. We're going to get some... Oh, actually, you know what? Whilst we're here. This is the only annoying thing with Chris. It's the limited save... Limited save slots. The limited amount of um, inventory space really does sting. And it's only a problem in Resident Evil um, 1. Because pretty much every other Resident Evil game, uh, we get to expand the storage. Uh, with the exception, I suppose, of Zero. I mean, Code Veronica, you can really expand your storage in that game. So I think you start off with 8, and then you can go up to 10. Which is mad. It's really cool. I I like this. Six was brutal. Because it does totally change the way um, you play. Or at least it just makes backtracking a lot more of a serious thing. You have used the mansion key. We have. Okay. So we're not alone. I knew you were there, zombie. Yes, you can't fool me in your green smoking jacket. Actually looks quite fetching, to be fair. Right, let's check these two rooms out. We're actually over half an hour already, but I kind of don't want to stop playing. Who would have thought playing Director's Cut would be so fun? Who would have thought, eh, Jim Ryan? Who would have thought that these old video games that have old shitty graphics would be so fun? I mean, not you, eh, Jim Ryan? Who wants to play these old games, right? Fucking jackass, honestly. Imagine being the head of Sony Corporation, right? Or at least PlayStation. And you have one of the most amazing back uh, catalogs in video game history. And just completely disregarding that for modern games. And modern games are fine. They are. But to completely disrespect your back catalog like that. You know, nearly 30 years of, well, yeah. Nearly 30 years of absolute legendary gold games. What a ja He shouldn't be in charge. Really shouldn't be in charge. Get that twat off that throne. That's what I say. But hey, who cares what I say, right? Okay, now let's jiggle our junk around. Uh, reach into the bottom. God, you know, it's funny to see um, PlayStation falling for the same old arrogant BS again. Remember the PlayStation 3 generation? Remember that? How that system launched? <clears throat> it's interesting, and how humble they became when the PlayStation 4 came out. And they were. They absolutely were. Um, and the, they did everything right, and they completely buried Microsoft at the peak of its arrogance, and it was a beautiful sight to behold. And now look at them. Ugh. I think he's called Andrew. I can't think. James Ryan. Is that his name? The head of Sony? I forget. Anyway, let's go. It's almost as if the guy's never played a game in his life. But then I suppose that's the difference between Phil Spencer. He's actually a gamer and is actually like passionate about the industry. It seems somebody has already searched here. It appears to be a switch. Will you push it? I? <sighs> okay. Let's go shove this. I mean, God, imagine that. Writing off the original Resident Evil trilogy and Metal Gear Solid and stuff like that. Who wants to play them? You fucking... Ah, oh, get him out of here, honestly. Right, uh, let's grab up this. Which is another part of the Mooncrest. 
Nice. Uh, we also have the researcher's will here too. Researcher's will. It's a letter. The top of the letter is missing. The remaining says, Yes, I'm infected. I did everything I could, but I could only delay the progress by a few days. The most frightening thing is that I forgot more about you by the day. So I chose a peaceful death rather than become the living dead. Within an hour, I shall have entered my eternal sleep. I do hope you'll understand my decision. Goodbye, and forever yours, Martin Crackthorn. Yeah, maybe we'll keep recording and I'll just split this episode in half. Why not? So, uh, we've got that. We do have the lighter now, don't we? Yeah, we've got the lighter, so we can go collect the map. Uh, there's also ink ribbons back in that jacket hanging up there, but we don't really need the ink ribbons, do we? We don't need ink ribbons. We have the power of emulation. Pretty solid emulation as well. It would be nice to see them um, go all out like Microsoft, but I think we're at a stage now where we, we, we just take what we can get. Now they have um, said that they uh, well they I don't think they've said it but it's been heavily hinted that they they want to bring native PlayStation 3 emulation to the PlayStation 5. That would be really good. That would be amazing because at the moment you can only stream PlayStation 3 games. Now I can't. Because we only have copper broadband, copper ADSL, and uh, apparently we're on the cards to be upgraded um, sometime between now and December 2026. So streaming PlayStation 3 games is just, no, not going to happen. So native emulation would be fantastic. The PlayStation 5 could definitely do it if they've achieved PlayStation 3 emulation uh, on PC, then yeah, yeah, you, you can do it on the PlayStation 5, for sure. Especially when they're emulating PS3 on those very old, very anemic AMD FX chips. PlayStation 4, nah, I, I, I mean, I'm not a hardware engineer, but the PlayStation 4 and the X-Bone their CPUs were absolute dogs. So, yeah. Definitely can't see PS3 games coming to PS4, but it's a dead platform anyway. She's on her last legs. Right. I have loved the PS4 generation, though. It was fantastic. Absolute beast of a gen. Some of my favourite games... Horizon Zero Dawn, for instance. I still need to play the DLC for that. Days Gone. And I really did enjoy The Last of Us the first time I played it. I think my opinion of The Last of Us has changed significantly over the last few years. Uh, and I have zero interest in the remake. Oh, I think he's got a magazine on him. Like, literally zero interest in the remake. I played Last of Us 2 and I didn't really enjoy it that much. I actually got quite bored. I don't think it was the worst game ever made, like a lot of people will say, but it's just. It was a 10 hour game that they stretched out to 40. Okay, so we're gonna have two Zeds like straight away here. And unless we get very lucky. Ooh, like we did gonna say we'll take damage but we got horrendously lucky there kind of best case scenario uh, God of War the new remake I uh, kind of not super I don't know I, I yeah I wouldn't mind to play it but <clears throat> still need to finish God of War 1 to be honest or the reboot anyway 
Okay, so how are we doing in here? Let's use the lighter. Oh, there's a magazine in here too. Yeah, I don't think I ever did the... Did they bring DLC out for that one? I can't remember. They probably did. Also, the idea of paying £70 for games is a... Yeah, no. No thanks. Just happy with Game Pass and Steam. Keeping me going. Right, so that's going to give us another key. Thank you. So we can put the lighter back now. And this key will allow us to explore. Uh, we can't go in there because that needs its own unique key. Um, right, so let's see. Mansion key. Ah, I know where we can go. Now we need to go back over to the other wing. Right, thanks for the ammo and the radio, Rich. See you on the flip, bro. Now, we need to go back over this side. Uh, how much space do we have? Actually, we have enough space. We can skim by. Uh, we only have the gold emblem, don't we? We don't have the wooden emblem. Right, let's go pick up the crest from down here in the dining room. Yeah, so if you don't find um, Rebecca, uh, we can't. We can go through there, but there's no point. Um, yeah, if we don't um, find Rebecca with Richard. And we find her in the infirmary. And Richard is already dead. And it does change a few other things as well. But we'll pop into that. We'll, we'll cover that as we get to them. Right, uh, so there's nothing inside. Now we're looking at the big crest on the floor, dude. Yeah, there we go. Get the old head meat engaged. Star crest. Yeah, the upscaling on the uh, actual 3D images is really quite cool. That's a really good. Can we, I wonder? Lighter. Lighter of lighter. Some fluid is left. Well, I'm glad it's a lighter of lighter. Definitely a knockoff. A genuine Zuppo. Okay. Yeah, the remake of this game, um, which is probably due for another remake, to be fair, is so good. And I, I kind of... I expected more from Zero, but Zero's got a lot of things about it that I don't like. It does so much right, but it does so many things wrong as well don't like the fact we don't have item boxes anymore. That's absolutely infuriating, the way that you can just drop items uh, and then retrieve them later. You can drop them anywhere, unless you've already gone over the item limit of that floor, which is really annoying. Uh, so you have to remember where your items are scattered all over the place. <coughs> really, really an annoying game mechanic. And the fact that you've got the, the mechanic of the two characters at the same time was, wasn't a bad idea, but I think at, at that particular time, it was getting very tired, especially with item management. That was the worst part of that game, I think. The item management, yeah, for sure. Right, let's go drop some stuff back. So, we've got the crest. Uh, let's get all of our crests together. What have we got? We've got the moon crest, or the half of the moon crest. Is it just those two that we've got at the moment? It is. Okay. Uh, we don't need the lighter. So, we can put that back. We do need the small key. Ah, uh, broken shotgun em emblem we can't use yet because we need the gold emblem. 
Uh, yep. Okay, good enough. Now we gotta go fight some dags. Soberus. Let's go fight some Cerberus. Yeah, man. There you go. Right, let's drive him into the corner. Best way of finishing those guys off. They still take a good few shots. But luckily, they they don't do a huge amount of damage to you. Definitely could be worse. Something very satisfying about the way they scream as well. I mean, I, I'm not a fan of animal cruelty whatsoever. In fact, quite the opposite. But there's something very satisfying when you're doing that gunshot loop and those loop of sound effects. Okay. So, let's grab the magazine. And let's grab the bad boy next door. Oh, yes. The cult. Will you take the Colt Python? Ah, uh, yeah. Yes, I will. Now, the desk is locked. Will you use the small key? We shall. Uh, now, I think there's shotgun shells in here. Is there shotgun shells? It is. Cool. Right, so we shall take the shells. Thank you. We shall equip the Colt. We're going to use the Colt. Because as soon as we go out through to the next bit, actually, that's, yeah, let's think about this. Actually, no, we kind of need to go back to an item box because we're full up, but we're okay for now. There's two Zeds straight out here, and you're almost definitely going to get bitten. Because as you can see, they're, they're pretty quick moving Zeds. Very difficult to not get bitten there. Hey, dude. Did, 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 did. Come, take a bite of my ass. Always offer up the ass. They generally do get quite curious. Too bad for him. Now, unlike Resident Evil 2 and 3, when they're getting back up, you can't actually hurt them. Which is frustrating. They have invincibility frames, damn it. We don't like zombies with invincibility frames. We don't like that at all. Uh, right. We can go in there, but there's no point. Let's go back into the keeper's room. Right, so we've got a magazine to pick up. We've got, like, the best part of 200 bullets. Absolute madness. Uh, I think that's all that's here, apart from, obviously, the best diary ever in a Resident Evil game. Hey, dude. Quite enough of your noise. Okay, so, The Keeper's Diary. May 9th, 1998. At night, we played poker with Scott and the... Scott the Guard, sorry. Alice and Steve, the researcher. Steve was really lucky, but I think he was cheating. What a scumbag. Today, a high-ranking researcher asked me to take care of a new monster. It looks like a gorilla without any skin. They told me to feed them live food. When I threw in a pig, they were playing with it, tearing off the pig's legs and pulling out the guts before they actually ate it. Around five o'clock this morning, Scott came in and woke me up. Suddenly, he was wearing a protection suit that looks like a spacesuit. He told me to put one on as well. I hear there was an accident in the basement lab. No wonder those researchers never rest, even at night. Uh, I've been wearing this annoying spacesuit since yesterday. My skin grows musty and feels itchy. By way of revenge, I didn't feed those dogs today. Now I feel better. I went to the medicine room because my back is all swollen and feels itchy. They put a big bandage on my back, and the doctor told me I don't need to wear the spacesuit anymore. I guess I can sleep well tonight. When I woke up this morning, I found another blister on my foot. It was annoying, and I ended up dragging my foot as I went to the dog's pen. They've been quiet since morning, which is very unusual. 
I found that some of them had escaped, so I'll be in real trouble if the higher-ups find out. Even though I didn't feel well, I decided to go see Nancy. It was my first day off in a long time, but I was stopped by the guard on the way out. They say the company has ordered that nobody leave the grounds. I can't even make a phone call. What kind of joke is this? I heard a researcher who tried to escape from the mansion was shot last night. My entire body feels burning and itchy at night. When I was scratching the swelling on my arm, a lump of rotten flesh dropped off. What the hell is happening to me? May 19th. So how long does that happen over? May 19th. So 10 days. So that's the infection, kind of. Yeah. Fever gone, but itchy. Hungry and eat doggy food. Itchy, itchy, Scott came in. Ugly face, so killed him. Tasty. Itchy, tasty. Mmm. Itchy, tasty. Right, sorry, Chief, but I'm going to need those uh, shotgun shells. Thank you. Right, I suppose now we need to go back and have another supply run. Because Chris, a big s hulking mountain of a man, can only carry a couple of little items. Well, actually, he can carry six items. Six items of any size. You know, whether that be 2,000 handgun bullets. Actually, I think the limit is like 250-something uh, in each slot. Which, if you think about 259 millimeter bullets that's a lot and that would be very heavy okay so let's put this piece back for now let's think about this uh, I suppose right let's put the shells back although we kind of have to take the two packs of shells out because they won't stack in the inventory. My god. We don't even have the shotgun yet and we've got 42 shotgun shells. That's pretty juicy. Right, let's stick those back. We'll keep the keys. And now, I suppose, we'll drop a save state. So if we click that click ah oh, you can see where i was testing um save yes let's have a look at the save so 52 minutes we've been playing i think this is a good place as any to leave it for now um i will cut this video into two parts i think so when we come back guys well we're gonna go to the piano room yeah and uh hopefully bump into rebecca because you know chris can't play the piano for some reason so till then guys thanks for watching and uh i hope you're gonna enjoy this just fun run through the game i'm enjoying it but then it's resident evil director's cut so you know when's that ever a bad time till next time guys